Hi everybody, this is Bogus Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the NECA King Features, the original superheroes Ming the Merciless figure. So before we take a look at Ming, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first up, he comes with a set of fisted, gloved hands, and uh, this one is really messed up online. I can still switch it out, but this is what the peg looks like, and I'm not even sure what happened to this. Uh, as you can see, there's only half a peg right there, so yeah, that's very, very strange. I mean, at least I can still switch it in and out, but uh, it doesn't move up, and up or down at all. I think the plastic might be fused. I honestly really don't know what's up with this. Up next, he comes with a left open hand and a right gun gripping hand, and the paint on these hands look really nice. The paint variation in the skin tone looks really good, the gold for the ring really stands out, his long black fingernails are painted really nicely. I just really like all that on this figure. I feel like the pink is a little bit heavy on this hand, but it still doesn't bother me. Up next, he comes with his pistol, and this is the same one that came with Flash Gordon. Just like with Flash Gordon, he comes with a short effect for the gun, but I can't get it to peg in and stay. Now, that's about all the farther it goes in, and it just wants to drop off. So for some reason, this effect doesn't want to attach to the gun, even though it's made for it. He also comes with the long effect for the blaster, and this one stays on just fine. I'm not sure what it is about that other effect that doesn't want to go on. But yeah, this one stays on just fine. He comes with an alternate left hand for holding the gun. In this version, the gun can actually go in the holster and stay. I'm not sure why the Flash Gordon one wouldn't. But yeah, this one stays fine. Up next, he comes with his sword that can be stored in the sheath. This sword looks really nice. This is uh, the same sword that Ming came with on the previous version. But uh, this time, it's colored a little differently. And finally, he comes with an alternate unhelmeted head sculpt. And this head sculpt is amazing. The varying tones on the skin looks really nice. The red shading underneath his eyes, the red eyes, the teeth, uh, his goatee. Everything is painted and sculpted really nicely on this figure. Uh, this looks like a really evil head sculpt. I kind of wish that the uh, this maniacal looking head sculpt was what we got with the regular version. But as you can see, this regular version, it's not painted the best. And I'm not sure why. Like, he has an abundance of yellow there on his face. Like, there, there's nothing even yellow on him, unless they were trying to uh, give him a little bit of a yellow skin tone like this one, like a yellow wash. But, uh, yeah, the, the yellow is just way too concentrated. If it wasn't for that yellow, this head sculpt would look really nice. So, yeah, I wish this uh, neutral expression would have been the unhelmeted one, and this maniacal head sculpt would have been in the helmet. I would have much preferred that than this. This body mold is the same as Flash Gordon, and uh, actually I think this is more of a reuse of uh, Flash Gordon than the Phantom. Uh, yeah, because the belt is the same. Um, the sheath is new, you get a real gold chain here, and that looks really nice. The gold that they used really stands out. The neck and shoulder pieces, I think they're from the Target exclusive. Uh, but he has a cloth cape, and it's made of a really nice material. It drapes really nicely. I really like the material that NECA uses for capes like this. It would have been cool if it would have been um, bendy wire, that way you could bend it. But I really like the way it drapes around the figure, so I think that would have taken away from it. You get some shading to the figure, some shading on the muscles, and it looks really nice. And I forgot to mention it, but uh, all the figures that come with these boots, these are actually reused from Batman, from the Batman vs. Alien pack. And uh, the other complaint I have with this is that, again, they didn't use the same colored plastic as the boots for the joints right here. And that really stands out. It is very noticeable. They also did the same thing for the uh, pins right there on the toe joint. So now let's go ahead and go over the articulation on Ming. So even though he has this neck piece, he can still look up all the way. He can't look down at all, but he can move his head side to side, and you get a little bit of tilting. He has ball-jointed shoulders that can move out all the way. He has swivel at the bicep, double-jointed elbows that can bend in all the way. He has swivel at the wrist that can move side to side and up and down. He has an ab crunch that can move back very slightly. He can crunch forward all the way. He has swivel at the waist. He has ball joint hips that can do a complete split. He can kick forward all the way. He can kick back all the way. He has swivel at the thigh, double jointed knee, swivel at the boot that can move side to side, swivel at the ankle that can move down all the way, up all the way, and toe articulation. So now let's do some size comparisons. So first up, here he is next to the Defenders of the Earth version of Ming. And this one actually did come with the wired cape. 
But again, I think I would have been fine if the cape would have been like this, since it drapes nicely on the figure. Here he is next to Flash Gordon. And finally, here he is next to the Phantom. So, even though I did have a couple issues with the figure, um, that hand being messed up, and the paint being a little wonky on the one head sculpt, I really love this figure, and it's definitely my favorite out of all three of these um, King Features figures. Um, this head sculpt is amazing. That's probably the one I'll leave the figure displayed with because it looks really menacing and how the uh, the neutral head sculpt with the helmet should have looked. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite figure out of the way. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.